good afternoon. I heard a little something something about Apple possibly doing something that makes sense. On top of the rumors that Apple plans to be launching three new devices this year or sometime later, there's also something else floating around talking about in 2019, them switching from Lightning to USB Type-C. This kind of flabbergasted me because that would make sense, and Apple doesn't traditionally make a lot of sense, to me at least. I came across an article on Know Your Mobile that said that this word comes from China. Speaking to Digitimes, I believe it was, yeah and they said that Apple was in the process of redesigning their chargers for 2019 for the iPhone and the iPad range. Fuzzy. They say apparently that it's been planned for a while but didn't quite make the cut for the 2018 stuff, similar to Samsung working on their folding phone but didn't quite make it in time for 2018. They said, however, it's not clear if it's a total change of cable or just minor improvements, <laughs> improvements to one end of it. It's possible that Type-C will be used at one end and the other end that plugs into the device will stay lightning, which actually that makes more sense. So if they're going to technically be using a Type-C charger, it would most likely be the one that they plug into the wall brick. I personally don't think this is going to happen any time in the near future, if not ever, simply because Apple makes too much fucking money from the sales and licensing of the lightning connector to the other manufacturers like Belkin, for example. If all of a sudden, your friend who has an iPhone gets into your car and is like, hey man, do you have a charger? And you're like, I do, as a matter of fact, even though I don't have an iPhone. They would make too much sense. It would be too universal. Apple doesn't like universal stuff at all. Like, they, they really don't like universal stuff at all. They like, they prefer to differentiate and to isolate people and to ostracize people who actually do use universal stuff. This was actually mentioned in one of the videos I did for a patron on why Apple chose the lightning connector over micro USB or USB type C. Some of that's right here. Also, one of the more obvious reasons is because micro USB is not reversible. In 2009, the European Union convinced 10 of the top cell phone manufacturers to abandon proprietary chargers to charge cell phone batteries. Apparently when the new ones come out later this year, they're going to include an adapter to go from lightning to USB Type-C to kind of like soften the blow to people who are used to using lightning and they've used lightning for since, what, 2012? But if they do make the total jump to USB Type-C, it's going to be next year and not 2018. This is gonna piss off a lot of people, but here's why I think it'll be a really good thing for Samsung phones. Just like the bubbles are green on iMessage, and that distinctly differentiates them from the blue bubbled iPhone to iPhone messaging, which creates resentment or what's the word? condescension maybe? A way for Apple users to look down on whatever isn't a blue bubble. Just like how if in the previous scenario, your iPhone using friend gets into the car and is like, hey bro, do you have a char- Ah, uh, no, you get like that USB type C thing, which creates like a, you don't have what I need, therefore your phone is inconveniencing me. Your different charging port is creating a problem for me. So if everything got put on the same playing field with USB Type-C across the board, that aspect would go out the window, which would be great. It'll just give iPhone users one less thing about Android or non-Apple phones to f about. I'm receiving a call. Hello? This is Alice from Visa Card Services calling about your credit. Shut up! Card. Block number, fantastic. Where were we? I guess one way that it does make sense is that Apple's already cramming USB Type-C ports down people's throats on their MacBooks and taking away regular sized ones. So it might happen, but again, they make far too much money off of the licensing for Lightning to make such a drastic switch. I just, I don't think it's gonna happen. We're gonna end this video with an appreciation for the Scotties, the patrons on Patreon that pay anywhere from 10 to $15 a month, and they are Stuart Glover, Kyler, Eric Price, Stephen Nichols, Nick Hawks, Spidget, Sin O, Josh Utley, Shannon Jones, Unit Omega, and Christopher Caswell. I stay with my Scotties. My Scotties are my board. I ride with them. And I put that on the generation. Next, we have the Super Beamers paying anywhere from $5 to $6 a month, and we only have one, and his name is Albert. And finally, we have the Beamers, the ones that pay $1 to $2 a month, and those are Encrypted Money and Excelsior. Stay charged and stay beaming.
do something that makes sense? I heard a little something something about Apple thinking about... It would most likely be the one that plugs into the one... Or good thing. Well, and that does a... And that has a decidedly... Oh no, I just got USB... No, no, wait.